Okay guys, it's Ash again. We are back for day two of the festival and today I think I'm probably going to be going to the Nights and Bikes workshop and then hopefully, if they'll let me in, I'll be filming the Media Molecules Dreams workshop as well. So let's get on with day two. First things first though, I had to get a look at the Bandersnatch exhibit. Then a very special guest arrived to play on some retro games at the retro gamers table. Then it was time for the Knights and Bikes workshop. This was really great fun and you could tell that everyone was really enjoying themselves. It was also really cool to see all of the creativity and the brilliant sword designs that were made here. Then I was lucky enough to catch the guys from Cafe who were here with Code Me Creative and have a quick chat about what it is they do. So my name is Luke, and my name is Kabir, and we're from a charity called Cafe. We work in Bangladesh teaching coding and graphic design, and we're here with Code Me Creator. Yes, so I'm from Bangladesh, so I stay mainly in Bangladesh and help children, you know, learn you know, graphic design, web development, and there's a recent project called Code Me. So, Code Me Creator was designed by students in Bangladesh and the UK. The children designed the game, we've just launched, and the game lets other children build their own levels. Every level becomes the next level in the game, and we're trying to build the world's largest game designed by children. Later this year, we're going to use the game to try and beat the world record for the longest video game marathon, which will be six days of playing, and instead of using a big commercial game, we want to play the game made by the children. We're going to live stream, and anyone who's interested, we're asking for donations for the record attempt, and we will use that to build a new school in Bangladesh to work with more children there. And you can find out everything you need to know at codeme.club. And I had just enough time before I went into the Media Molecule Dreams workshop to check out what NUA was showing at the festival as well. Today we're going to be presenting um, Dreams, which is the game that we've been working on for a really long time. And it's now an early access, it's out for a while, and people can play it, people can give us feedback. And the workshop today is going to, um, we're going to game jam together, and we're going to make a game using suggestions that you guys come up with. End of the world. Chicken. I'm now like thinking we should have probably said suggest two things. <laughs> but we'll just sort of start at the top and go down. So we've got polar bear, unicorns, angry donuts, poisonous lake, disabled character, cat castle. Is that a cat castle? A jet pack, give me food, I'm hungry, give me chocolate, adventure aeroplane game. Uh, underwater game, space game, launch, launch land, unicorns with rainbows, spaceships, up oh, control living camera. What does that even mean? I love it. It's so good. Um, <laughs> but just as a silly sort of like, uh, this is something that I made with my four-year-old son. So I see a lot of parent child sort of like um, parents and children in the audience. And my four-year-old son, as soon as the, the beat was up, he was like, so what is this thing that you do, Dad? I don't really understand it. And I was like, okay, I'll show you. So I set him up with the audio tool, and you can record into the microphone. And so he recorded a story. He just told it jokes and things. Thank you.